Hello, uh, we are going to make the best ever carrot cake today. Let us see the ingredients we need for making the cake. We need 250 grams of plain flour or maida, 2 teaspoons of baking powder and 1 teaspoon of baking soda, 1 and half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half teaspoon of ground ginger. We are going to make it. Uh, I'm just showing the ingredients now. 180 ml of vegetable oil, I prefer sunflower oil and 4 large eggs, 1.5 cups of brown sugar, 3 cups of grated carrot and some nuts. You can use any nuts. I'm using here sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds. Uh, you can use walnuts as per your wish. You can use any kind of nuts you want. Um, you need some measuring spoons and cups for making the cake. If you see here, I have mixed all, all ingredients except for the nuts. I'm going to sprinkle them on the top and I have used the mortar and pestle to ground the cinnamon. Before mixing the ingredients we are going to preheat the oven and start keeping it at 180 degrees and just heating the base and top. I'm going to mix ingredients now. I have mixed all the ingredients very well. Spend about five minutes at least for mixing the ingredients properly. And I have taken a big uh, tray for baking the cake because uh, it's a big cake we are making today. And I have covered it with aluminium foil. So I'm gonna pour the cake mixture into the tray now. Spread it properly. Mm. The nuts, but I have washed them before spreading them onto the cake mixture. This helps in not making the nuts go black and they will remain crunchy because cake will take at least about 20-25 minutes for the baking and you don't want your nuts to go bad in the meantime so that's my little trick that I use and I'm gonna leave some nuts I'm gonna sprinkle them later It's been almost 15 minutes now that uh, the cake is 
kept in the oven. Looks like it's almost getting ready. I'm just gonna add the remaining of the nuts. Be careful because it will be really hot inside. It's really smelling nice. I can smell the carrot cake. The cinnamon flavor is really good. So we'll just wait for another five to ten minutes or seven minutes and then take the cake out. It's been 20 minutes now, 20 and, and we'll just check if the cake is ready now. This is how we should be checking if the cake is ready. Just put, uh, put a knife, a butter knife or a skewer to check and it has come out clean. It means the cake is ready now. So we can take out and taste it. Use oven gloves to take to touch the pan. It will be really hot. And switch off the oven. Let it cool for about half an hour and then we can taste it. We're gonna cut the cake now. I'm not adding any cream frosting or anything. I just like it the way it is. Mm, I feel like okay, the frosting makes the cake a bit heavy. I like to enjoy it on its own. Just gonna cut a piece and show you guys how it is. Come. I'm gonna taste a bit. Mm. It's yummy.